hunting career. Uh, yeah, it's a very short career. Uh, this is the Mossberg, Mossberg 510 Mini Bantam. Mini Super Bantam. Oh, Mini Super Bantam. It is a 410 <coughs> pump action. It does have a 10.5 inch length of pull. It does come with shims to get it to 11.5 inch. It does come with a double bead. It is a fixed modified choke. It is a two shell magazine. So there is no plug for it. So it's two plus one. Your action release is behind the trigger here. It does have a top thumb activated safety. Uh, three inch barrel. Three inch chamber. chamber. It is an 18 and a half inch barrel. Two plus one. It weighs, yep, already got that. It, total weight is five pounds. Mm -hmm. So Taylor did start shooting this this shotgun. We uh, never did take it hunting. She did shoot. We had the shoot and see targets. We had the turkey. We had the duck to keep her entertained. We did uh, shoot some clays. We'd set clays up on the ground. Uh, she never shot this at a flying target at a thrown clay. I couldn't hit a thrown clay with it very well, so I couldn't really expect her to. So, this is what we initially started with. It is, the action on it is pretty tight. Uh, this is an exact miniaturized uh, duplicate of a Mossberg 500, even down to the, the rattle on the forearm. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, rattle, rattle. <laughs> yeah, so it was pretty tight. She did have some trouble initially racking the next round. She still, to be honest with you, has some trouble with the safety and thumb safety. Her brother Alex shoots it now. He still has some trouble with that thumb safety, although he is he's a little bit better than Taylor was with it. Uh, overall, it was a pretty good shotgun. My The only two things that I, I really didn't, well, there were three things that I really didn't care for were the fixed choke. I'm not real familiar with uh, 410, so I don't know if any model out there has has removable chokes and adjustable chokes. The thumb safety that she had a lot of trouble with, and the fact that there is no upgrading it. There is no, uh, like if she wanted to go hunting with it or turkey or anything, there is no, you can't put a saddle on it for a scope or any kind of optic. You might be able to drill it and tap it, I don't know for sure. And there's no larger barrel that you can put on it. This is it. You can't get a, a 20 or a 24 inch barrel. Basically, this is what you have for the life of the gun. So. Once they outgrow this size, that's it. Time for a new shotgun. So, uh, last year Taylor did, as I had said before, did go out hunting with me. So we needed something other than this. Uh, just to give you kind of a size comparison here. This next one is the... Remington 870 Compact Junior. It doesn't say... Well, that's because I know it's Remington. I am, I'm not going to call myself a fanboy because, well, I don't tell everybody they need a Remington, and I think that's what fanboys do, but I am a Remington fan through and through. I have many, many Remingtons. Lots. Um, with all the stuff that's going on with them right now, as long as they keep making shotguns, I'm going to have many, many more. I actually have one on order right now. So, um, this gun is a 20 gauge. It is, oh, I don't know if I, how well you saw that size comparison though, so we'll line up triggers. A uh, little bit longer length to pull on this one. A little bit. So, 
this gun was black synthetic. I did camo dip it. Um, I do have a... Oui. Oh, yep, yeah, I apologize. We did camo dip it. I do have quite a bit of experience camo dipping. So let Taylor pick out her uh, the pattern. Let her pick out. She wanted these little color stripes on it, so we did that for her. And basically she picked out the scheme. We wouldn't let her do pink because one day it might be her brother's. Or it will be her brother's. Well, so with this gun, this gun does have a 12 inch length of pull. It is adjustable. It again does come with uh, sco or the uh, shims. It does have the Remington suit. I believe it's called the Supercell uh, recoil pad. The safety, it's thumb activated safety on the trigger guard. The action bar is in front or action lock release is uh, in front of the trigger guard. Uh, it is a pump action. It does have, I want to say, it's a 4 plus 1, 4 round magazine, so you will need a, a plug for this. Uh, it is a, this is an 18 and a half inch barrel. It does have the removable rem chokes. I do have the Carlson choke in it. It only comes with a single bead. Uh, we do have the True Glow double uh, fiber optic sight on it. She does like that. She's shot pretty well with it. I honestly couldn't tell you if she shot at a flying target without it, so I don't know if she's tried that actually. Uh, so this gun here, she has taken turkey hunting. There are saddles goose. for it. Yeah, she. This is what she shot her goose with. Um, yes. This gun is fully upgradable. Any anything you can buy out there that will fit on a 20 gauge A70 will fit on this this shotgun. When she outgrows this stock, I can put a regular size stock on it. I can put a uh, pistol grip, turkey thug style uh, pistol grip on it. I can put any kind of, I can get a wood stock, a set of wood stocks for it. I can put a 20, I want to say they go all the way up in a 20 gauge to 26 inch barrel. I can go to the store and buy a 26 inch barrel and throw it on there. Everything from this will go to a different gun and vice versa. Um, this gun is five and three quarter pounds. Uh, being a Remington guy, I haven't found any flaws in the old A70. Uh, nothing with this gun in particular uh, that I don't like. Again, I own many, many 870s, so uh, very familiar with this gun. I can take it apart, put it together underwater in the dark, put my hands behind my back. So we're very, very comfortable with the Remingtons. Uh, just to kind of give you a a comparison, I do have a full size, and I want to say this is the twenty. Something. I want to say this is a twenty six inch, and this is also a uh, chamber for the three inch twenty gauge. Um, I want to say this is the twenty six inch barrel. So this is a full size twenty gauge, uh, right off the shelf. So just to kind of give you a, a, an idea on what the size difference is on it. Um, I don't know what the weight on this is. Uh, it's obviously going to be a little bit heavier with the wood stock. Uh, that is another option that you can do. Taylor seems to handle the recoil on this quite well. If you, you're afraid that your child will have an issue handling recoil, you can put a wood stock on it and make it a little bit heavier. That should dampen some of the recoil from it. Uh, and like I said, we do have the saddle for it that, that she did try to shoot turkey with, but um, apparently I, I, she was trying to get the safety off and couldn't get the safety off for whatever reason. And I kept thought, I thought she was saying that the, the red dot on the optic was either off or not bright enough. So we completely missed the opportunity and that was my fault. But she tried to pull the trigger for the first time on an animal, which I still count that as a win even if we didn't come home with the turkey. So. Um, her next move, and, and I kind of set myself up for it with the expectation of her not shooting any birds. I told her that if she did well, we would end up getting her a 1187 Compact Junior, Yay. which is a semi-automatic version. I have the 12 gauge. I don't know how long it's going to take uh, to get that, but <clears throat> I do have the 12 gauge version if anybody wants to wants a look or a review of that. I also have the Versamax if anybody would like to see a review of that. Feel free to ask and put it in the comments and we'll get that done for you. Uh, but for right now, uh, this is her, her 
bird gun and she's doing well with it. She is nine years old. She's able to swing it, hold it up, actuate the, the safety without problems, rack around without problems. She knows how to function it. Um, she's able to shoot one bird, rack it, and get to the next without any problems being nine years old. My son, he can do the 410, can hold it up, can swing it, can, can use it well. Uh, he does have to come off a shoulder to rack it because it is still pretty stiff. This, this one, even being a larger, a larger gun, is easier to rack than that 410. Uh, he is five, but he's a big five-year-old. Uh, a pretty strong five-year-old. When he was little, he had, like, usually other kids, like, they have to hold a cup with two hands, but his hand, like, fit all around it. Yeah, we used to have to worry because Alex would rearrange the furniture in the kitchen, so, uh, when he was, like, two or three, so, very strong kid. He can get one shot off on this. He can't shoulder it while he racks it. He can't swing it real well, so, um... I'm going to say Taylor's even a little bit larger for the average nine-year-old. She's taller. Um, so I'm going to say you'd probably be okay with this with your average eight-year-old. Uh, might be a little bit big. Maybe your average seven-year-old uh, might be a little bit large for your average seven-year-old. Unless you're shooting a tripod like this one. Uh, I want to say this is the Caldwell Deadshot. I believe it is called and I, I do have friends whose kids have shot geese using this same setup so um, that would also be an option she has this for deer hunting and for crossbow shooting um, this year with her bow she is accurate enough to hit a deer at 20 yards but she doesn't draw enough weight so uh, she is going to be hunting with a crossbow this season and probably next season as well unless she learns how to pack on some bulk so but this is what she will be using this Caldwell Deadshot is what she'll be using for crossbow there is also a version that I have I haven't set it up yet that will mount to a tree stand so um, yeah anything you see in any of these videos uh, that you think you might want to see a review of or just me explain it. Go go right ahead and ask. Feel free. Uh, like I said, everything we do, everything we've done, we're going to throw it out on the table. Uh, everything is fair game. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, we're going to also be posting this video, these videos on the YouTube. Or not, well, yeah, on YouTube. YouTube. Um, on the Facebook page. There is a Facebook page. There's a Dad Outdoors. Uh, I believe it's Dad underscore Outdoors 2020 is the Instagram. Um, on Facebook there is a business page as well as a group. Um, so if you want in, I think it's a private group so you'll have to uh, leave a message or something or other. I, I haven't worked out all the bugs on that. I don't know how everything works on that so far. So uh, By all means, uh, get in that group, ask questions. Uh, have fun, good luck hunting. Hope we all learned something. And like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell. Stop. Um, things, do things. <laughs> uh, yeah. Peace out. Oh, you're gonna come around and punch it? No. <laughs>